Hello, awesome readers. Today we're going to be reading Why is for Y'all a Book of Southern ABCs by Kelly Kazek. I am taking all book requests. If you have a favorite book that you would like me to read, please send me your request. My email will be posted in the description below. A is for Azalea. Azaleas are a leafy shrub with blooms in pink or red. They grow in parks around the south and brighten up our flower beds. B is for bless your heart. We spread this phrase around like hugs. Bless her heart and his heart too. It's something Southerners often say when nothing else will do. C is for cornbread. This bread is made from ground up corn that's stirred into a batter, then fried up like a yummy cake and served up on a platter. D is for deviled eggs. They make the perfect portable treat. You can pop a whole one in your mouth. You can find as many as you want at any potluck in the South. E is for a toothache. This dish is made with seafood and sometimes crawdads too, then served atop a bed of rice and a sauce thickened with roux. F is for fixin' to. If we make a plan to get something done, but we're not quite ready yet, We use the phrase, we're fixin' to, which means in just a bit. I'm fixin' to clean up. G is for grits. This southern word is particular about the way that it is writ. It can only be spelled with the S. There is no such thing as a grit. H is for hissy fit. If you live in the South, you've heard it said, now don't have a hissy fit, but that wording is not entirely correct. Hissy fits aren't had, they're pitched. I is for insects. In summer when you go outside, you never know what things might greet you. Mosquitoes, love bugs, gnats, or flies are all waiting there to eat you. J is for jazz. Its peppy notes and rhythmic tunes make your feet tap to the beat. It fills the air in New Orleans from Jackson Square to Bourbon Street. K is for kudzu. When this vine with purple blooms was planted in red clay, It became the vine that ate the south because it grows a foot a day. L is for lightning bug. They flit and flash on summer nights. Those insects known as fireflies, in the south we call them lightning bugs because they glow against the skies. M is for magnolia. Its blooms are soft and delicate, its curling roots tenacious, just like southern women who are as tough as they are gracious. N is for nanner pudding. It's called banana pudding if you speak properly in wooden, but those of us who are short on time just call it nanner pudding. O is for okra. Boiling makes it squishy. Stewing makes it bland. Everyone knows it tastes the best when fried up in a pan. P is for peaches. Peaches are the perfect fruit when picked fresh from the trees. But Grandma will bake them in a pie if you ask her pretty please. Q is for quaint. The South is sometimes known as quaint, with its small towns and its farms. 
and friendly folks who just can't wait to show you all its charms. R is for reckon. This word has many meanings, but there's a southern definition. It's a word we use for emphasis when we're sharing an opinion. You reckon the fish are biting today? I reckon so. S is for sweet tea. Tea is fine when served up hot. In England, they think that's nice. But when we drink it in the South, we like it served with sugar and ice. T is for tomato sandwich. Some people think tomatoes are perfect from the vine. But when you slice them on some bread, they really taste divine. U is for umpteenth. Here's a made-up number you can use to describe a large amount. If mama says something for the umpteenth time, it means too many to count. V is for veranda. A veranda is a type of porch where we go to catch a breeze and sit and pass the time of day while drinking gallons of sweet tea. W is for watermelon. There are rules on how to eat large melons of this kind. You never eat them with a fork. You gnaw them to the rind. X is for zenial. It really means hospitable. But if the word sounds too complex, it's because it's the only southern word we could find that begins with X. Y is for y'all. We greet folks with howdy y'all when meeting one-on-one. If there are groups of more than two, we say, are all y'all having fun? Z is for Xenia. These cousins of the daisy are colorful and bright. They make a pretty spring bouquet and bring smiles of delight. The end. Thank you so much for reading with me. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can read together again.